The shortage of homes has also pushed up home prices. The median home price right now is clocking in at about $426,000. They have been slashing home prices to drive up demand. And not only that, that, but they've also been offering incentives, which include rate buy downs. And that looks really attractive when mortgage rates are above 6%. Building permits are up about 2%, and that is an indicator of future housing starts. There's still a lot of single family and multifamily units under construction. It is hard right now for landlords to retain tenants. Why? Because there's so much competition out there. This home behind me is listed for $750,000 and has been on the Redfin's website for over a month now. Now that is just one example of what is really going on in the housing market. Forget the tech rally. Home builder stocks are really the winner here. Confidence among home builders is really pushing the sector's index to hit a 52 week high. Some lenders are also artificially pricing these loans to be worse so that they kill the appetite. Fundrise is finding a bright spot. This fund is an opportunity for investors to profit off of the commercial real estate given the downturn that is happening. I think you just came up with the idea for a mascot for Lennar. Lamar. Lamar. <laughs> I know, I noticed that. Well, I mean, wouldn't Lenar's you love to see a Lamar. Lamar just dancing on the corner? <laughs> oh, it's Lennar out there again, um, Lamar. All right, exactly. I am a Lakers fan. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's the Cali girl in you. Capitán, sabemos que los recursos están limitados por todos los incendios que están pasando en nuestro estado. ¿Eso te preocupa en, en controlar este incendio? It's a very New York Christmas at Union Square. Its annual holiday market has returned, and so have the shoppers. It's very festive and it's fun to, to be outside and it's really great to uh, be at the market and be supporting local artists and uh, small businesses. And for some, it's been a treat. Brandy Odie, visiting from Georgia, found a very special Christmas present for her son. I'm very excited about this gift, actually. I'm going to put it in our suitcase and then soon I get home and wrap and put it on the tree. He won't know what it is. He didn't ask for it. With more than 180 booths, it's hailed a must-visit destination for unique gifts and created by local craftsmen and artists. I sell everyday jewelry as well as bridal and special occasion, and I basically make everything by hand using hypoallergenic metals and freshwater pearls, Baroque pearls, and semi-precious gemstones as well as Swarovski. It's this foot traffic and people shopping local at these marketplaces that's kept this small business owner afloat. I think like the brick and mortar, it's, it's tough to get foot traffic that these types of markets get. It's one of the best places to sell in the entire world in terms of foot traffic. It's constant. But this year, it has been a bit more challenging. I've had to put all my prices down, actually, because I, I want to be able to have things that people can afford. Because my demographic is people from age like probably 20 to and up and a lot of us are young professionals and we have student loans we aren't able to buy a $75 pair of earrings so we like to say our average price here is about probably around $50 and it's a splurge from a lot of people that are just barely making rent especially in New York where it's literally just the rent paycheck to paycheck for everyone even people working in the corporate world while some try to weather the storm, others are debuting their products for the first time. This was a pipe dream. I wanted to be here for over 10 years. It's very sentimental. Um, I used to go to Parsons. I graduated in 2010. Um, and so I would come here all the time and look at all these artists. However, the environment has changed since then. Customers are cutting back on spending amid high inflation. I will say I have noticed that this year people are buying like lower amounts from my, my space instead of spending $100, they're still they're spending maybe 40. There's good news though. The National Retail Federation estimates retail sales 6 to 8% higher than in 2021, while a Gallup poll shows Americans plan to spend more on gifts than they have in the last three years. That's giving hope for this vendor who's paying a pretty penny to have his booth open at the holiday market. On average, I'd like to make like over a grand a day, like a couple grand, you know, between that ballpark.